Okay, so the end of one of my darts sheared off because it bounced out of the board and hit the floor. So you can see it sheared off and it sheared right at the end of the barrel. So they've told me that you can make a solution out of alum and water and boil it and boil this dart in the alum and water and alum will actually eat the steel. So the alum won't eat the barrel, but it will eat the end out so we can get that piece of steel out and put a new tip in. But we're gonna see how this works. So I went to the dollar store and I bought a $3 pan and you can't use metal to boil the dart in with the alum because a metal pan, the alum will eat it. So I've got a enamel covered cup in this pan. So it cost me what, $7. And there, if you look at the dart, you can see that's the end that was sheared off. I'm going to put the alum in. This is the alum. Six tablespoons into a cup. Let it dissolve and then you're supposed to put it in for about four hours. Put the shaft in there and let it eat away for four hours and add water as you need to as it boils. So once this gets boiling I'm going to make the mixture and put this in there. Okay so I put this in literally seconds ago I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can. You can see the bubbles coming out of the end. That means it's already starting to eat the metal. That's what I'm told. So we're gonna let it go for a while and see what happens. So it sure does seem to be working. There's a lot of bubbles coming out of that. Now the reason the barrel isn't eaten by the alum is because the barrel is made of 95% pure tungsten with a titanium coating on it. It's a non-ferrous metal. The tip, on the other hand, is a ferrous metal with iron in it, so the alum will eat it, or it's supposed to anyway. It looks like it's working. Now the exact mixture I used for this was one cup of water and about six tablespoons of the alum powder. Now you're supposed to keep it just under boiling. So I found that by using the pan with water in it and the cup inside the pan, the water in the pan boiled, but the water that was in the cup didn't quite get to boiling, but it was hot enough to do the trick that it, it needs to do. So again, we'll show you what happens after four hours. I took it out of the pot and uh, having a look at it, this is four hours later and it's still not quite deep enough. So I'm gonna have to reboil it for probably another two to three hours to get the depth that we need to get a new point in there. Now remember, the reason I'm doing this in the first place is because it was sheared off. If it was broken beyond the end of the barrel, there'd be something to grab. It's just a pressure fit, and it could be taken out. Now, if you're a good machinist, you could bore this out, but if you bore it out, you have to be careful that you don't ruin the end in the barrel. Otherwise, the new tip is not going to stick because the hole will be too big, even if it's just a fraction. So alum really is the safest way to do this. Again, if there was something sticking out, you'd be able to pull that pressure fit out, but there wasn't. So the alum is really a last resort in getting the tip out so you can get a new tip in. And after putting it in the solution again for another five hours, it finally came out. And this little piece came out, if I could just pick it up. She's tiny. But this came out of the shaft or out of the barrel. So it finally worked. It ate the inside of it enough that uh, this little piece was able to fall out. And now I can, oh, it's tiny. Now I can get the, uh, the new shaft or the new point back in the barrel. Yay.